Hey guys, DM Cubing, and today I have my tutorial on making a magnetic 2x2 two two speed cube. Hey guys, here's my tutorial on making a magnetic 2x2 two two speed cube. Now just a quick little introduction here. On this particular project, I used one of the new Kung Fu's, but any cube that's shaped like this, like the Diane Zanshi, this modification will work on. Now a couple of quick notes. On my very first prototype, I used an N48 grade 4 millimeter by 2 millimeter magnet and it proved to be too strong. So on this one I halved my magnet, well I didn't literally half it, but I used 4 millimeter by 1 millimeter N48 grade magnets and I think it turned out pretty nice. It gives a subtle but yet noticeable feel. Uh, your experience may vary depending on what kind of feel that you want. Uh, I probably wouldn't hesitate to use a 4 by 2 of the lowest grade, maybe an N35. I think my next uh, prototype will probably have that in any uh, new findings that that I that I experience in my experimenting and just in my modifications I'll, I'll add the changes to the description of this video so here we go before we start I thought I'd just show a little polar arrangement here this is a little drawing showing the polarity of the two by two you can see N for north and S for south and those are the poles of each magnet inside the pairs of magnets and then this drawing here on an envelope, I just happened to grab the closest thing I had available when I was prototyping my first 2x2 two two magnetic. And this shows the complete polarity, all each six sides here. And you'll notice that they're all identical regardless of what rotational um, representation each side is. This is a Diane Zanchi. This is one of the scallop type uh, QB pieces like what we find in the Kung Fu. If your 2x2 two two has this type of design and you can put a 4 millimeter wide magnet in it, then you can probably do this mod with no problems. You just have to have enough of room to put a little magnet in there. And this is just showing that. Um, so this works on the Diane Zanchi, definitely works on the Kung Fu. Now, when disassembling, I kind of kind of weaseled out and kind of took the easy way of just kind of gently pulling these out and then actually marking, you know, yellow, orange, and green so that uh, my first piece that I removed would be the per the piece that I would put back first so I knew that it would go together identically the way that I took it apart. The reason why you do this is there's, or the reason why I did it, there's these little registration pins in three pieces within the core. And if they're not in their identical place in relationship to the rest of the cube, it just won't work right. And you can see it here, one at the top, one kind of in the center of the picture, and then one kind of off towards the uh, left. And uh, if you don't mess with that, then everything goes together. It's not the end of the world if you take your uh, core apart. And there's plenty of videos. I don't address uh, reassembling a core in this video, but you can find plenty of them on YouTube. And each each core is a little bit different. And then I'm taking the parts uh, pieces apart here. And this shows, again, these little side pieces here. And you see the scalloped edges there. Uh, if your cube has this, there's probably going to be enough of room to put magnets so you can do this magnetic uh, modification. And then put your uh, ball core in a box. I found out the hard way. I had mine lying on top of my drawing table, which was kind of tilted, and it rolled off and hit the wood floor. I'm surprised it didn't explode upon impact, and and that was I was lucky there. This shows the um, layout of the magnet. You'll notice that the one on the left is pushed up a little bit because of the uh, the little retention, the, the little slot there that the tongue goes into. To. It has a little less space in there. So that's the magnet that you want to set first. And then the magnet on the right will just kind of follow that one. And we're going to do this in groups of four. We're going to group glue in groups of four. And there's going to be six of these. So a total of 24 and two magnets in each one. So a total of 48 magnets is required. Here's an ADEX speed time lapse video showing me gluing an entire side or one color, the green here. That's positioning the first magnet and then second magnet and gluing them in. If you watch this, this is what we're going to do six times. So here you see me positioning the third magnet. Put a little glue, then I pull straight back. See, straight back on the stick of magnets. Then I line the other magnet in, the fourth one. Put a nice size drop of glue on that, rotate it. Put in the fifth magnet, put glue on it. Pull the magnet straight back, 
put in the last piece there to glue in the sixth magnet. Then we'll rotate it. And then for the seventh magnet, we pull that piece out, position the magnet, put glue, pull straight back on the magnets. When you pull straight back on the magnets, it doesn't put an influence on moving the magnets. So just pull it straight back. And that's the last and final magnet. And we'll do a total of six of these, little groups of four. So that's what this looks like. And then for the rest of this tutorial, I'll go slowly each step of, along the way here. So what you just saw, we're going to break it down real slow, frame at a time. And like I said before, we're using an N48, four millimeter by one millimeter in this particular project. And on my stick of magnets, I always put a little piece of paper on the end because I'm taking the magnets off on the opposite end of that. So it keeps my polarity the same throughout the, uh, throughout the cube because sometimes you might rotate your stick of magnets and get it confused. I like to use this particular type of uh, super glue. It's a Gorilla Heavy Impact type of glue. And it just works really good on doing these mods. I'm on my third bottle now. so, And here's, here's the layout. We put this first magnet in like this. We make sure it's in that corner. You'll notice here, once it's positioned, you can kind of pull down on the magnet, see? And it gets real snug in that corner. So once it's snug in that corner, we're gonna get like a drop of glue. We're gonna put a good size drop here. Now you'll notice on this video, I'm not putting the glue under the magnets. It's really not needed on these, on these real small magnets. If you put enough of glue on here, it's just going to completely encapsulate it. It's going to seal it onto the uh, QB piece. So this one actually works pretty quick. And we pull straight out. And what I didn't mention about that time lapse, that time lapse took place in eight minutes. So that video was eight, one minute long. So you, you're going to need to allow yourself about an hour to do this complete job from first disassembly to final gluing. So... Um, it's about eight minutes per side here. Then we're positioning the second piece here so we can line up the second magnet. We just drop it in here. And then see once it's in there, just kind of move this piece here till the fronts are completely flush. And notice how that magnet just kind of like stays right where it needs to be. So you put a drop of glue on that. Then we'll take it and we'll rotate it. We're gonna put in the third magnet now. We drop it in there like we did in the first one, see? And it hangs off to the side. Kind of snug that corner in like we did on the first magnet. Put a nice drop of glue on there. Pull straight back. When we pull straight back, we're not influencing the position of the magnet. Then we align a third piece here as we drop our fourth magnet beside that. Then we flush it up, align the magnet and align the pieces. Then put a drop of glue then rotate it. We're getting ready for our fourth magnet. Same procedure. And a drop of glue. We pull the stick of magnet straight back. Then we bring the last piece in here. Drop in the sixth magnet here. Uh, square it up. It's real important to keep this little square. And it's a square, so it's easy to tell if, if things are not perfectly aligned. Drop the uh, glue here. Then we're going to rotate it another counterclockwise. Uh, clockwise, I mean. Pull this little piece down. And this is how we glue in the seventh magnet. And we'll replace this piece in just a second. Drop a glue here. Pull straight back on the magnets. Then push, push this back into the little assembly here. Square it up. We drop our eighth magnet, our final magnet in, square it back up, make sure the magnet's squared, and then put a drop of glue. And then that's it. And then we set that to the side, we let it glue, we let the glue dry until we've done five others. So there's a total of six of these. And that's all there is to gluing this. So it's really not that hard. This is one of the easiest mods. So now it's break time. It's time to let the glue dry and harden, and it may take up to a few hours, really, before you can safely handle the pieces and reassemble your cube. So you really don't want to rush this part. And now it's time to reassemble your cube. This is really the fun part, because, you know, you're about to have a magnetic cube. And this cube goes together real easy. I mean, the stocks go right into position, these little tongue and groove little uh, parts here that just piece together like this. So it's real easy to reassemble. And there's a finished piece, a corner. And here you see the magnets. You see a couple up under my thumb there. 
then a crossover to the right. See how they're just barely visible. You wouldn't want to go anything wider than this. A five millimeter wide would stick out, so four millimeters just perfect. And if your polarity is correct, and I'm sure it will be, um, your cube pieces will attract each other in this kind of formation. So that's one way you can test to make sure your polarity is right. Will it hold together without the core? And here you see the cube doing this. The magnetic attraction will hold it together. And then I'm just putting the uh, cube back together the way I took it apart with that uh, orientation of that piece, the, my first piece that I removed. Uh, if your core count comes apart, it's not the end of the world, but this is just kind of a shortcut the way I did it. So after you've done this, you know, you can lubricate it and adjust it, and, and it's time to enjoy it. And here's a little first actions on this particular cube. And I, think the, uh, I think it really aligns well. Uh, these magnets gave it a subtle but not too subtle feeling so and here's a little bit it's kind of hard to show on video the magnetic attraction but that little movement there was kind of showing you anyway that's it I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that your magnetic 2x2 is as good as mine I'm sure it is and if you have any questions or comments just leave them below and I will address those and uh, enjoy your new cube happy cubing thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later see ya